Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So in previous classes we have looked at uh, thermodynamics, fluid equations and then to a particular assumption quasi 1D assumption uh, where we consider that the um, properties of the flow like velocity, pressure, density, temperature uh, they remain constant uh, across the cross section um, uh, of, the, of the flow. So, uh, that is a quasi 1D assumption and uh, then we had uh, looked at conservation equations in the quasi 1D framework. Now let us apply some of these principles to first uh, look at a very important uh, characteristic of uh, um, compressible flows uh, that is the uh, speed of sound. So, uh, sound waves uh, are uh, very important when discussing uh, compressible fluid flow as we had uh, discussed in previous classes including the uh, flow regimes where it is uh, the main uh, mode of information transfer among different parts of the flow. So, you have uh, when we have low speed flows or subsonic flows then these uh, uh, waves can travel all around carrying the information, but once uh, the uh, velocity of the flow becomes greater than uh, velocity of sound, uh, the information propagates only along uh, certain uh, directions. So, now so, uh, speed of sound being uh, so important, mm, let us uh, analyze uh, the sound wave uh, using the, uh, 1D principles that we had uh, uh, just uh, completed. So, uh, this uh, wavy line represents the wave front of um, the sound uh, as it is uh, traveling from uh, right to left. So, when as it is traveling to uh, from right to left. Uh, now, uh, in order to um, apply this we use the principle uh, that uh, if the body is moving or these uh, waves are moving with uniform uh, velocity uh, it is having a certain velocity a then uh, you can always transform the coordinates or transform uh, and impose an opposite uh, velocity in order to make the flow uh, or make the uh, wave front uh, stationary. So, you can give a velocity a now that uh, appears uh, going from uh, left to right if you impose that then this wave front can be made uh, stationary and then uh, the steady flow in uh, equations can be applied on uh, this wave front. So, the equations for uh, now this is a uh, section which is a um, in one dimension. So, uh, you consider um, the one dimensional flow where uh, you have rho u a is constant. Since uh, A is constant you get rho u is constant, the u is the uniform velocity uh, and um, P plus rho u square is constant. This is from momentum uh, conservation. There is uh, no heat addition or work done in these uh, uh, processes. So, you get h plus u square by 2 is constant that is uh, conservation of energy. So, using uh, uh, these three principles let us look at uh, how we can uh, get to the uh, speed of sound. Now, as the wave passes over uh, as the sound it introduces a small change in the local uh, static pressures, temperatures and uh, uh, densities as well as 
uh, the speed. So, uh, that small change is represented by delta p, uh, delta rho, delta t and the small change uh, delta a. Now, we apply these uh, conservation equations across the uh, disturbance. So, um, if you write the mass conservation equation, you get uh, that rho a is equal to rho plus d rho multiplied by a plus d a. It is just the conservation of mass. This can be expanded um, and uh, you apply the condition that when you have uh, two small quantities d, a, d rho and d a getting multiplied these are approximately equal to 0 they are uh, negligible. So, uh, this when expanded you get rho a a d rho plus rho d a plus d a d rho. Now, uh, this factor is uh, negligibly small. So, it can be uh, removed while uh, these two get cancelled mm, from here. So, you get the equation a d rho is equal to minus rho d a or a can be written as minus rho d a by d rho. So, we have uh, from the mass conservation equation we get this particular uh, form of um, the equation or this particular formulation this will be useful ahead. Now, we consider the momentum conservation across the wave front. Okay. So, uh, when you look at momentum uh, consideration you have p plus rho a square is equal to p plus d p plus rho plus d rho multiplied by a plus d a the whole square. Okay. So, now uh, here you have to expand this uh, formulation or this uh, right hand side and in that uh, the, the terms um, d a square is very small. Similarly, d rho d a they are also very small and you can neglect them. So, uh, you get p plus rho a square is p plus d p plus uh, rho a square plus 2 a rho d a plus uh, a square d rho. And uh, you can also, so from these terms this uh, gets cancelled. Similarly, this gets cancelled and uh, you can use the uh, equation here that a is equal to minus rho d a by d rho and uh, that can be uh, substituted here. And uh, uh, when you substitute uh, that equation, then uh, you will get uh, a square is equal to uh, d p by uh, d rho. So, when you combine these two equations, uh, what you get is that uh, uh, all these terms that is uh, due to uh, d a square 2 a d rho d a they are all very small and they can be uh, neglected and uh, you can use the uh, term that you got from the previous equation that uh, a d rho equal to uh, minus uh, rho d a. So, this is the equation or this is the term that we got from the previous equation and uh, that can be applied over here there is a rho d a term here and it can be replaced by a d rho and there will be a negative sign. So, that this uh, equation then forms minus uh, a square d rho plus 2 a square d rho plus a square d rho and you have a d p term here. So, this is how you get uh, that is equal to 0. So, you get uh, a square d rho equal to d p or a square equal to uh, d p by d rho. So, uh, once you get this, so that this relates uh, the speed of sound to the uh, uh, gradient uh, or uh, to the derivative of pressure. 
dp by uh, d rho now uh, in order to evaluate the speed of sound you should uh, evaluate this uh, derivative mm, dp by d rho uh, but we know it, it, that we should determine the process uh, by which the sound is actually uh, traveling or the thermodynamic process involved in the uh, travel uh, speed of sound so now that uh, one needs to determine the process when uh, uh, researchers were looking at it right from Newton uh, he uh, sort of said that the um, uh, sound wave propagates in air and when it propagates it does not uh, uh, change things to uh, a great extent and um, so he uh, assumed that the temperature remains constant uh, as the sound waves uh, propagate uh, through uh, through any medium so he uh, said that it is an isothermal process so if you consider an isothermal process then uh, the corresponding uh, uh, thermodynamic equation is pv equal to constant this can be differentiated pdv plus vdp equal to 0 in terms of density it will be dv is uh, v is just 1 by rho you can substitute that and you can get dp by d rho is nothing but um, p by rho or you get a square is equal to p by rho but uh, it was seen uh, that uh, this was not uh, correct uh, according to experiments there was a discrepancy with experiments and um, correction was provided later uh, in a sense that uh, since these uh, processes are extremely fast uh, it moves quite fast uh, there there cannot be any exchange of heat in order to have an uh, isothermal process you need to exchange heat and uh, uh, the heat exchange is generally a slow process so uh, but speed uh, with which sound travels is quite fast and there is no time for such heat exchange to uh, take place so uh, then uh, the appropriate uh, thermodynamic process is a reversible adiabatic process or that is an isentropic process when you consider it an isentropic process then the relevant equation is uh, pv power gamma equal to constant and uh, then if you differentiate this and uh, get to dp by, by d rho it is dp by d rho is gamma p by rho or a square is gamma p by rho uh, and if you can also couple this with the uh, equation of state p is equal to rho rt then you get a square is equal to gamma rt so uh, now here we uh, come to the uh, equation a is equal to square, square root of gamma rt uh, now uh, rem uh, remember in all these conversions uh, we have assumed uh, that uh, the gas is a uh, perfect gas and only in the case of per perfect gases we can use these mm, uh, kind of simplifications where we are saying gamma is uh, Cp by Cv and uh, so on. Uh, but uh, the most general equation is actually uh, A square is uh, dou P by dou rho or uh, at constant entropy, entropy is equal to constant. As that is the uh, uh, correct uh, thermodynamic process to be used and uh, when you use that uh, then uh, this is the most uh, general formulation for um, uh, speed of sound this is applicable in any uh, scenario while in specific uh, to perfect gases you can simplify this to square root of gamma rt another equivalent uh, formulation is uh, uh, using it is gamma p by rho square root of gamma p by rho so uh, uh, we have done uh, a bit of uh, uh, computation or a simple analysis uh, to understand um, how the speed of sound varies with the temperature and what is a relevant equation to be used uh, this is uh, in a context of uh, changes of cp and cv as uh, temperature increases to higher values and you can uh, and these are all 
uh, plotted and there is uh, a comparison between uh, using uh, the formula a is equal to square root of uh, gamma rt and uh, determining a by square root of uh, this uh, generic formulation that is uh, at entropy equal to constant. This is done using uh, computational tools and here you can see the uh, plots and uh, while for perfect gases which is uh, represented by the blue line which is uh, uh, perfect all through. Uh, there is no difference between uh, gamma RT and uh, dP by d rho, but when you bring in high temperature effects and uh, there is uh, other changes like chemical reactions happening, then it can depart from uh, such uh, perfect behavior and that departure is seen by these uh, other lines. Uh, there is a difference between uh, gamma RT and uh, dP by uh, d rho. So, uh, depending on the situation and the problem under consideration, uh, while in majority of the cases that we do here, uh, we will be dealing with perfect gases and uh, uh, this uh, formulation holds good. Uh, but if situations arises, then uh, we have to go back to the more fundamental equation which is uh, this one, which is the uh, square root of dou p by dou rho at constant entropy. Uh, now, uh, speed of sound is uh, not just uh, in uh, gaseous medium, it is also for solids and liquids and there the relevant uh, uh, property is the bulk modulus, basically how uh, changes of uh, density with pressure that is what is the relevant uh, property. So, uh, the speed of sound is related to uh, the bulk modulus and the density, so square root of bulk modulus by density. And you can see that for solids it will be very high, the speed of sound can be very high for 4000 uh, meters per second in steel, while uh, for water it is about 1.5 uh, kilometers or 1500 close to 1500 uh, meters per second in water. Uh, while for air at normal temperatures the speed of sound is around 347 meters per second. So, let us just do a, a simple um, numerical based on uh, the speed of sound. So, uh, uh, here calculate the percentage change in speed of sound at 11 kilometer altitude when compared to sea level. Ambient temperatures are 288 Kelvin and 216.5 Kelvin at sea level and at uh, 11 kilometer altitude uh, respectively. So, uh, if an aircraft flies at 333.3 uh, meter per second, what happens to its Mach number as the altitude uh, changes as gains in uh, altitude. So, let us look at this. Uh, so, what is given here? So, this is air. So, uh, air has gamma is 1.4 and generally R is taken as 287 uh, joules per kg Kelvin and uh, you have uh, this at sea level and uh, at 11 kilometers altitude temperature is given at sea level is 288 Kelvin here it is 216.5 Kelvin and the relevant formula is gamma RT. So, one can find the speed of sound here. So, A is uh, in this case, first case which is 288 Kelvin, this is square root of 1.4, this is 340.17 meter per second. 
while at this case at 11 kilometers this is uh, the same formula you have to substitute T as uh, 216.5 and you will get 294.94 uh, meter per second. So, what happens to uh, Mach number? Mach number is uh, V by A and uh, now you can see uh, that in this case the Mach number is um, 333.3 divided by 340 which is close to 0 0.98 while on this side uh, at 11 kilometers the Mach number you can uh, see that the speed with which the aircraft flies is greater than the speed of sound and uh, that is uh, the Mach number here is 1.13. Now, the percentage change in uh, speed of sound as the uh, there is an increase in the um, altitude from 11 kilometer to 11 kilometers is 294 minus uh, 340.17 divided by 340.17 and uh, this is change is about 13.3 percent there is a 13.3 percent decrease in the uh, speed of sound. So, as uh, the flight uh, moves uh, uh, to higher altitudes, temperatures drop and uh, there is a possibility that the Mach number of the flight uh, can change. So, with this we uh, end uh, the discussion on uh, speed of sound. Uh, we can uh, now look at few numerical examples in the next class uh, and uh, that uh, is the end of this class.